Dear colleagues, this is an intumescent cataract with very high intralenticular pressure. I have taken up this case for surgery. Let us see how the case was done. The pupil has dilated but not fully. It is mid dilated. I am straining the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye. This is the dye and now I am injecting adrenaline to see if the people dilates and see the magic of adrenaline. The people is dilating and within seconds it dilates fully and I am very happy that the people has dilated very well now. Now Two side ports are made. This is the side port on the right side of the main incision, and this is another one on the left side. Now, capsular excess is to be done. I incise the anterior capsule at the pole with a 26 gauge bent needle. Here it is. Here goes the needle. The anterior capsule is punctured and a C flap is made. You can see turbid fluid is coming out. Now I hold this capsular tag and make a small rexis at this stage. This convexity of the anterior capsule. What I feel is I have used only HPMC hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose in this case. Many colleagues recommend sodium hyaluronate and they want the anterior capsule to be flattened forcefully. Now if we use high molecular weight viscoelastic substance to flatten the anterior capsule what I think is the intralenticular pressure increases and if the capsule gets any opportunity it immediately runs out so I don't inject viscoelastic substance. I don't inject high molecular viscoelastic substance. I inject only HPMC and I don't pressurize the capsular bag and thus in all cases I can do a small rexis through the small rexis whenever I aspirate out some cortical lens matter Intralenticular pressure drastically decreases and the intimations goes off. The cataract becomes an ordinary one. Now a small cut is given at the margin of this small rexis. Eutator forceps is taken again and this small rexis is enlarged into an optimum sized one and see how beautifully you can do it. And at the main incision, you tint the anterior leaf of the main incision so that leakage of viscoelastic substance becomes minimal. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece. And usually, in all of my cases nowadays I do direct chop, hold the capsule and chop it. Hold it at another place and separate the nucleus into to heminuclei. Now each heminucleus is further divided 
into two parts. Here's the other hemineucleus. I'm in FECO2 mode from the very beginning. Now each fragment is drawn at the center of the anterior chamber at the iris plane and it is emulsified. I never come beyond the iris plane. I never come up. Thus, I protect the corneal endothelium. FECO power used in this case is 65%. Flow rate is 40 ml per minute and vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury. This is Oatly Catarex 3 FECO machine from Switzerland. Sweet machine, cute machine, very small machine, small and sturdy machine. No financial interest, but I am very happy to use this machine. And now, cortical cleanup is being done. You can use whatever you like. You can use a coaxial IA, bimanual IA, or this very simple thing, a Simco cannula. Cortical cleanup is done nicely and we can see that the posterior capsule is clean. There is no cells sticking to the posterior capsule. Now a hydrophilic ac acrylic intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. The irrigating probe keeps the anterior chamber formed and it pushes the trailing haptic into the capsular bag. That's it. The case is done. But we have to do some more thing. This is moxifloxacin. The side ports are to be closed. Hydration of the stroma on either side of the side port closes these wounds. And now some viscoelastic substance is sticking to the corneal endothelium. See, here it is. As you go with the Simco cannula and flush, see, some visco that sticks to the corneal endothelium gets dislodged and removed. That's it. The case is done. Hope this video will help you in managing your intumescent cataracts. My aim is to develop your surgical skills. Thank you for your attention.